Well, normally I'm going to be outside showing you how to fix something, dehorn something, cultivate something, fertilize something, plant something. But uh, today, we are just so blessed by this rain that I really can't get outside and do anything. So today, we're just talking. So again, normally I don't just sit down and talk to you because talking videos are not the ones I typically listen to either, unless they're showing me how to do something. I, I, like, to, I like to learn how to do stuff. It can be anything from farming to fishing. I mean, just, just about anything. Welding, fixing something. Uh, I just love watching how-to videos. Stay on YouTube a lot, probably too much. So today we are getting a blessing from God we have, uh, I hadn't even looked at rain gauge. It looked like at least three or four, from a distance, it looks like three, three inches or so or more. Man, we have had some good rain. It hadn't really, I mean, it's been hard at times, but not just super hard. It's just been a good steady, you can hear it, I'm sure. Just a nice steady rain. That is just beautiful. I hope if you're in Texas, and I've got a lot of, a lot of my viewers in Texas, and um, I hope you're getting some of this rain too. Looks like it's covering most of Texas, but uh, I hope you're getting some of this because man, it is much needed. Not just from the, the break from the heat. We got that a little bit last week and we're gonna get a lot this week. In the mid to upper 80s in August. <laughs> Shoot, I'll take that all day long. I think anybody in Texas would take that. But we really needed the rain. And, uh, you know, from uh, an agricultural point of view, mostly, um, I mean, lots of people have yards. They've done a lot of water bands and rationing and stuff lately around uh, this area, East Texas area. A lot of water companies are in trouble. Their wells are drying up or they're losing some of the capacity in their wells. So they've had to implement uh, Restrictions, they've had to implement uh, higher bills, which everybody knew was coming, I guess. But agriculturally, the hay producers, especially cattle producers that are having to sell off their cows, uh, a lot of people have sold off cows. That's gonna affect the prices short term and long term both. Hopefully around here, around Texas, the hay producers have got some hay bailed up Hopefully they saw this coming, the, the rain coming, and didn't have any on the ground cut, raked, because uh, it, it's gonna be a whole week of rain just about, and uh, the hay's got to sit there and dry for at least a day, it, in the hot weather, a day, and um, if not two, and then they rake it and bale it, and uh, so hopefully they've planned accordingly, saw this coming. It's been in the forecast for a while, <laughs> I don't think anybody believes it because we've been fooled before, but uh, but anyway, it's it's here and and uh, there's a lot of folks that were probably contemplating selling cows that now are going to have some grass, not going to have to do that. A lot of people contemplating buying a hundred dollar hay or hundred twenty dollar hay rolls of hay that uh, this might alleviate. It's all about supply and demand. The more hay you have on the market, the less it's going to be, and they're just hay has been, they just hadn't been cutting hay like they normally would. So what have I been up to? Well, I don't normally show you the mundane stuff like mowing, stuff like that. Um, but this year I didn't spray my weeds. And this year the, the goat weeds, man, they took over. I mean, I had four or five foot tall goat weeds. If you don't know what a goat weed is, it's a, it's a weed that the stalk can get up, shoot, big as a quarter, four or five feet tall, has a lot of seeds on it, and those seeds will fall if you don't spray them or, or mow them at the right time. Those seeds will fall and, um, and they'll stay, even if they don't come up next year, they'll come up five years later. They stay in the ground a long, long time, until you, typically until you stir up the ground. Well, last year, you may re remember that I had a lot of pond work done. Everywhere a dozer touched the dirt, there was a goat weed. I just had, 
a plethora of goat weeds. And uh, I didn't spray because we, we were in a drought and with the cows and stuff out there, I really didn't feel like they would have any, I, I really felt like the spray, even though it's, it's, it's not a spray that kills pasture grasses, it does kind of knock it in the head, especially if it's hot, dry, doesn't get a lot of uh, rain. I usually use Pasture Guard, and uh, it's, a, it's a gray zone type uh, product, but um, it, will, it will kick the grass in the head for a few weeks, and as dry as it was and little grasses we had out there, I, I just couldn't afford to, to not have any grass out there. So we, me and my neighbor chose not to spray this year, and um, so we had, I had goat weeds everywhere. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. So I've been out two, three hours a day for, for two, three, four days and uh, mowing that goat weed and, and goat weed's tricky. You got to get it at the right time. And I'm afraid I missed the, my window of opportunity, but you got to wait till that seed is, is goat weed's high enough to mow, but the seed on it is still soft. If the seed gets hard, and those were kind of borderline, if the seed gets hard, then when you mow it, all you're doing is scattering it, which is fine because doves are about the only thing that eats goat weed seed, I think. So, and I've seen some doves out there. I've got doves out there, hopefully, just tearing up those goat weed seeds that I knocked down for them. I was nice enough to knock them down to the ground. Anyway, that's what we did a lot of this week. Did some fishing, caught a nice little bass out of my pond, my big pond, which has gone way, way down because of the drought. And I caught about a three pound bass out of there. First time I've caught anything that big out of there. Usually a little brim or a, a, a little bit larger bass, you know, 12 inches, 16 inch bass. But this one was, this one was a couple of feet long. It's pretty good bass. But with goat weeds, you got to spray or mow at the right time. If you spray too early for goat weeds, then you're only going to get the ones that came up early, June probably, May, early June. That's when a lot of people spray is in early June. And you may have a goat weed out there six or eight inches tall. Well, a month from now, a whole nother set of goat weeds will come up. And those have to be sprayed too. So it's either two sprayings or two mowings. And spraying is expensive. Mowing's getting expensive just simply because of the, the, uh, the diesel. But it takes about, I would say, $50 to mow my 15 acres. Maybe not quite that, but spraying, it takes two or $300 or more. So you gotta get the spray right or you gotta get the mowing right. But anyway, that's what we've been doing here. We're watching it rain all day today and we're just loving it. Uh, I couldn't be happier and everybody around here are just, uh, we're blessed. Now, are you getting some? Leave something in the comments below and let me know how you're faring. Some of you a little further east, now you're, you about, about had all the rain you want. Uh, I've had several people say they've just been getting rain all year long and just everything was soaked, couldn't even hardly work outside. So that has not been our plight. We have been dry, dead dry, and uh, grass has been, I mean, crunchy. You walk through the pasture and it's just, grass is just crunching under your feet. That's how bad it is. Um, so cows gonna have something to eat till it's time to feed hay now. This, this one rain will carry it for two or three weeks. Uh, so that's going to help as far as the cattle situation, as far as the cattle producers situation. So let me explain to you what very likely going to happen. In 2011, we had a drought that was worse than this drought. It was terrible. Uh, we had 82 days here in East Texas of 100 degrees or more, at or above 100 degrees, 82 straight days and almost no rain to speak of uh, any of those days for like three, three and a half, four months. So it was just as, it was dry as I've ever seen it, period. Uh, it, it rivaled the Dust Bowl years. And a lot of people had to sell off their cows. I don't know that I had any. I may have had sheep at that time, I don't know. A lot of people sold off their cows, which typically is gonna flood the market prices will go down and that may happen this time but my understanding this time there's a lot more beef being sold overseas and we're not relying just on uh, the U.S. market 
So if that's the case, and that's what I'm hearing, uh, beef prices may not, they may go down, but they may not go down like they did back in 2011. When you flood a market with beef, the prices go down. When you flood any market, the prices go down. But when there's a beef shortage, the prices go up. Now, I don't know whether you know this or not, but it takes about three years to get to a marketable product in the beef industry. You've got a baby calf on the ground, she will breed at about 18 months. Don't need to really breed her much earlier than that. It takes nine months for her to have a baby, and it takes about another, depends on how, you, how big you want to get them, but it takes another year, really, to get that calf that she had up to a marketable weight, which is 1,000, 1,200 pounds. And so you're looking at about three years. So beef prices for the next three or four years are fixing to get high. If they, there may be a, a slump initially in the next six months or maybe even a year, I don't know. Again, they say we're selling so much overseas, it's not gonna really matter. There's such demand from overseas for, for our beef. Uh, but after that little slump, if there is a slump, you watch for prices to go high because there's been so many mama cows slaughtered because the farmers just didn't have the grass that it's gonna take a long time. Those, those cows are gone. They're not out there having babies anymore. And it takes a long time to replace that mama cow. And so we're fixing to see a big, big jump in beef prices. Just expect it. Go ahead and buy you some beef now, put it in the freezer, vacuum seal it. It lasts a lot longer if you'll vacuum seal your meat. Uh, I'm a big believer in the food saver. We've got two of them. I use them for everything. Uh, if you see beef on sale right now, and again, you may, there may be a slump, may be a good time to buy. Uh, go ahead and get it now and maybe buy it. If there is a slump, maybe it lasts six months or something, or a year. Buy you some beef up, and when you see it start to creep back up, or you hear, the, you hear there's a problem in the, in the beef uh, packing industry of, of shortages, that's when to go out and, and buy and, and start uh, vacuum sealing. So just a, a quick tip on that. I just hope you don't get caught in the middle of, uh, of a price war because it's, it's fixing to get not just beef, but lamb, pork, uh, all of it I think is fixing to get high. But mainly grass eaters because of some of the droughts we've had in, in, the, in the big producing uh, states like Texas. Lots of states worse off than we are. Utah, Nevada, I mean, Lake Mead, Hoover Dam, Colorado River and all that, they have got some serious, serious issues. You need to pray for them folks, pray for rain, pray for good snow. They'll have some runoff this winter. And uh, if not, they're gonna be in trouble. California is a desert. California is a desert. It's a desert that they learn how to irrigate. And if the irrigation goes, California reverts to a desert and a lot of our food supply is gonna to have to come from somewhere else. I'm not a big fan of California, you gotta understand. I'm a Texan, but California does supply us with a lot of good stuff. And those folks out there are hurting for water. So I wish they had some of this. It's beautiful. Hope you don't mind me talking a little bit. If you don't mind, I may do it again, all right? I appreciate you folks more than you'll ever understand. Thank you much. We're gone.